Hello, everyone, and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with TechTalkAmerica.com, and today I'm going to be creating a short tutorial video for all of you to show you how to deal with an issue that is unfortunately becoming more and more common on Facebook, which is how to stop an impersonator. I am also, at the end of this video, going to show you how to prevent this from happening. So I do recommend you watch the whole thing, share this video with your friends, and hey, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do so by clicking that little button that just popped up on your screen now. So let's go over why people do this. So basically a Facebook impersonator is someone who steals your Facebook photo, both profile photo and usually timeline photo as well. And what they usually try to do is they try to friend all of your friends, especially the people who you seem to be the closest in contact with. You are not the actual target in the case of this scam. It's your friends who are the target. And what these people will basically do is they, once the, the person accepts the friend request, they will send some sort of a message saying, help me, I'm in prison, I'm in trouble, send money through this electronic means. And you can guess how the rest of the story goes. So I wanna show you how to deal with this and again, also how to prevent it from happening to you. It's very, very simple and it takes two seconds. So we're gonna um, just kind of use my profile here as an example. So one day I would pop online and find that there's another David A. Cox out there uh, who has stolen all of my information. I'm sure it's gonna happen one day. So here's what you would do. Uh, the first thing you would do is you see these three little dots right here at the bottom right corner of the timeline photo. You would click on that and you hit report, okay? And that's going to walk you through the process of sending a report to Facebook that this is an impersonator. Um, they're pretty good at dealing with this stuff. Usually it's less than 24 hours for them to resolve it. The other thing that you wanna do in the process of doing this is look at who of your friends this person has successfully contacted and friended and you want to tell those people as well and have them do the same thing. See, that's not hard, right? Now, let me show you what you can do to prevent this issue from happening in the future. What you're going to do, forgive me, I'm uh, right now trying to view this uh, publicly so I was able to show you that. So let's just get into my normal profile view. What you're going to do is on your own profile, you're gonna go here to where it says friends, click on that. And what you're gonna do is hit the little edit button here at the uh, sort of uh, the top right of the friends, it's actually manage technically. Click on that and the first and only option is edit privacy. Click on it and you'll see here we have three different things, friend list, following and followers. By default, all of these are set to public. My advice is that you change all of them to only me. That's going to minimize the likelihood that this kind of a scam would ever happen to you. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Again, if you haven't done so, check out our, our YouTube channel. Subscribe, hit that little button right there on your screen, and we'll see you next time. Oh, and if, you, uh, if we helped you out today, please hit the thumbs up, that little like button too. This is David A. Cox with TechTalkAmerica.com. Class dismissed.